My name is Andre Tucker. I'm a kidney recipient and a volunteer with Southwest Transplant Alliance. I received my kidney almost a year ago. Uh, it will be a year on July the 8th. 2018. I uh, started back in 2004 because I've always played sports. I went took a physical and my family doctor was like, hey, I think we have something going on with you. She was like, I'm gonna send you to a kidney specialist because I see something going on uh, with your uh, vitals, your regular vitals. So I went to um, the kidney uh, doctor and he basically was like, hey, you have the early stages of renal failure. I was like, renal failure, I'm healthy, you know, I'm 34 years old, what, you know, renal failure, this is, this is not possible, what is that? And the doctor sends in another nurse with another machine, prick my finger again, put it on both machines to make sure that the machine is not faulting, and one reads 5.4, the other reads 5.7. They start running around going crazy, right? And they're like, are you coherent? Do you understand? what we're telling you. You can pass out and die in any second. And I was like, huh? And they try to do a blood transfusion. I reject them in like five seconds. Like they, they were like, this is the fastest rejection that we've ever had. Like they said, hey, you just got yourself a stay in the hospital. I'm in the hospital. This lady across me was like, oh, oh, give me some medicine. Oh, I'm hurting so bad. Like, all through the night. Like, I can still hear this lady in my ears. I was like, Lord, if this is what this is, I don't, I don't know if I can do it. You know? I was like, Lord, I'll do it. But I need to have that quality of life that I've had. I need to know that I can run around with my kids. I can go to work. I can still provide for my family. No matter how long it takes, I'll do it. So when we get home, start doing dialysis treatments. Um, it was um, March 21st, 2013 was the first treatment. I get to the center, I was going to a center in DeVita in Duncanville. Um, went through that process for four and a half years. I saw people crash on the machine. Um, talking about the emotional effect of being on dialysis. Um, and literally they were on the machine you saw them walk in, they were talking, speaking to you, and they died on the machine. November, first call, I was the primary, I was the secondary. The primary person got the kidney. In December 2016, I got the call. I was the, I was the primary. When they did my blood work, somehow my blood work was mess, mixed up with somebody else's. They thought I had prostate cancer. So they took me off the list, and when they take you off the list, usually they don't put you back to top. You kind of go full circle again. To God be the glory. They put me right back where I was. March, call, wasn't mine. April, call, wasn't mine. May, call, wasn't mine. June, at this point in time, I am totally de deteriorating. That I was driving down the street, and I, I told it out of the car. My faith is kind of shaking, you know, the whole everything, just the emotional, the mental, the spiritual, it's like everything, right? July the 8th, the young lady calls, she says, hey, we don't normally do this, but you're the only one who's even close. We want you to come down and get prepped right now for surgery. Those words, you wait to hear them, and then when you hear them, you're like, is this for real? Like this is this is it the truth? Is it really happening for me? I'm sitting here today because somebody thought enough to give it their organs. Give somebody the opportunity to live, like somebody gave me the opportunity to live. As a donor, you give that opportunity of life back. 